Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here, back again with another tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a stereo audio file into a mono file in Logic Pro X. So let's go ahead and get started. So in my project here, let's take a look at this little reversed guitar loop here that I have, which is currently a stereo audio file. Now if you're not sure how to tell whether or not your audio file is stereo or mono, there's a couple ways that we can go ahead and check. So first is just to take a look at the audio file or the audio region itself, and we can see that there are these two interweaving circles here, which of course tells us that it is in fact a source stereo audio file. Next, you can take a look at the waveform information. If it's a stereo file and you zoom in further, it should change to two separate um, waveforms here, which of course will show us the left and the right channel information. Now, of course, if you want to go ahead and throw on a uh, multimeter, you can then take a look at the stereo image of the track or the song that you're playing. So let's go ahead and quickly throw one of those on just to take a look. So we're just going to go over to audio effects, go down to metering, and then go to multimeter. So by default, it'll show you the spectrum analyzer, and we want to go over to goniometer, so let's click that. And then, of course, we can see this nice uh, stereo image here. Now, as we're currently listening to just my voice through my microphone, which is, of course, a mono input, we're only seeing the mono information. So let's just go ahead and play this little reversed guitar loop and see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks pretty different, eh? There's quite a lot of uh, stereo information going on here, especially with the delay and reverb on there. So let's now go ahead and convert this stereo uh, file into a mono file. So we're just going to go ahead and solo this and cycle it so we can only just get this one little region here. So first step is to go to your inspector window here in the left hand side and when you have your track selected, go ahead and click these two double circles here, which of course will change it from stereo mode into mono mode. Okay, so now you can just see the one circle there. Once you've done that, go ahead to your stereo output go down to output and go to mono and choose either mono output one or two. Either one is fine, let's go with output number one. Next, go ahead and open up your mixer and we can see at the far right side our main stereo out. So just be uh, cautious here because if you click the bounce button here or you use your hotkey for your default uh, project bounce, that will default to the stereo bounce window, which is what we do not want. So what you want to do is right above here, the stereo output, you can see we ha again have these two circles here. It's currently in stereo channel mode. Click that and that will change it to mono uh, output mode. So now we have output number one and output number two. So because we chose output number one, we want to go ahead and click the bounce button of this channel here. So now we can see our uh, mono bounce window here. Go ahead and just uh, make changes or just bounce it however the heck you want. I'm going to go with lossless wave 24 bits. Uh, we're going to add it to our project and I'm not going to normalize it. So once you do that, just hit OK. And we're going to give it a name. We're just going to call it uh, mono tutorial test one. It's going to go to our bounces folder and then just go ahead and click bounce. And then we'll just have to wait a second. Okay, and we're back. So now let's go ahead to our browser tab up here. And we're just going to unsolo these for the moment. So here it is, Mono Tutorial Test 1. And if you can't find it, just click on All Files, go to your Project tab, and you should see it here under Bounces. So, so let's go ahead and create a audio track for this. And we're going to throw this in here. And just before I forget, we're going to close our browser window and change the output back to stereo. There we go. And we're also going to go to our original track and change it back to stereo mode so that we can compare them back to back. So again, let's open up our goniometer in the multimeter. We'll just throw this off to the right hand side. And just to, before we play it, let's just take a look at the waveform here. We can see that in fact, our rendered bounce is now going to be a source mono file. So it's got the one circle here and we only have the one waveform. So let's go ahead and play these back to back and just compare the differences. 
So first the original and then the one that we rendered in mono. And there you have it guys, a perfectly uh, fine stereo audio file rendered into mono. And that's it, pretty easy. I uh, hope you guys learned a lot in this one. If you like this video, definitely give the video a like, it certainly helps me out a lot. And if you guys would like to see more tutorials like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to this channel here and I'll be putting more tutorials and other sort of music things out in the future. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed it, thanks a lot for watching, we'll catch you next time.